there was a lot of the music videos that have been submitted, but we didn't know we were going to play tonight. And I just thought I'd give him a little surprise. <laughs> but what's really nice is that um, last time we had Lily Lewis as co-host, tonight we have Peter Lloyd. We've had um, actual video music artists, you know, singers as MCs, not um, traditional MCs. And I think it's made a welcome change. You know, Lele LA was one one um, version, and now tonight we have Peter Lloyd. Thanks, Peter. My pleasure, my pleasure. I want to introduce now um, two gentlemen. One is um, not a stranger. You met him last night when his film Stepping Razor Red X was shown for the first time in Jamaica, although it's uh, not a new film at all. And the other is the man who produced uh, this, the film you're going to see, and in fact produced the first music video that opened our evening, the Willie Nelson uh, Toots video. So may I bring on stage uh, Wayne Johnson and Mr. Arthur Gosden, please. So it's kind of hard for him to come to Kingston two, you know, two days in one week. But as, as Arthur said, it's definitely the national treasure. I mean, I'd say the godfathers of Jamaican music are the great Cox and, and Duke Reed, and another one of the great godfathers is Chris Blackwell. Chris Blackwell is the greatest musician ever out of Jamaica in history, Jeremy Ramley, and he should know. So, um, so that I'm sorry for allowing us to make his life story, which this is, and you know, he was the man who produced. My Royal Lollipop, the first Jamaica hit with Chris Blackwell and right up the plays were with Jimmy Cliff and Bob Marley and also as great as one of the top jazz guitarists in the world. So, the okay. ultimate respect for Ernie Ryan. Also, I'd like to mention that you're going to see a beautiful <coughs> moment of it. I told me it was Perry Hensel and Ernie Ryan, and it's one of the last times we see Perry, who did so much and accomplished everything he set out to do. Thanks a lot, Arthur. Uh, this gentleman has a long history in, in movies, movie production, major Hollywood box office hits, music videos, awards, etc. He's just being very humble and modest because he loves Jamaica. But this is an important gentleman. Arthur Gosson, meet him. Thank you. I want to tell you both about um, Ernie's uh, niece. Are you going to his niece or his. Um, come tell me. We share the same grandmother. Uh, Aruba Randin is here. Nice. Let everyone see you. Thank you. Thank you. That was a good evening. So let's have it. Early Randin, the roots are ready. Thank you.
right to the end, you know, because it really shows you who are the people who worked on making this film great, so great. Let's have a round of applause. That was really wonderful. And don't think back when you know, to come back up here, please, because there's just so much about this film that uh, wasn't said and can be said again. Come on, come on. You all really did a good job on this movie. Well, I mean, I, it goes without saying that um, I feel like this is the reason why we're here celebrating the heritage of Jamaica, our music, and the brilliance of Jamaicans, because, you know, I, I'm humbled the fact that um, Jamaica, a small island like this, could produce such a great music, a great people, and a, a genius. We tend to throw that word around, but truly, um, uh, He's a genius. Could you all give him a big round of applause? How long ago did you make this film? Less than two years ago. A year and a half. It's funny because we, by the way, it's really insane. There was something in the projection that's a little bit strange. I promise you. We, we decided we would do a musical event and bring people to Los Angeles to play with Ernie. And uh, all the musicians that are speaking on there were part of this, which is another part of the DVD, which is a 12-song musical event. We started doing the interviews, and suddenly the interviews started coming together because Ernie's story is really the history, uh, the roots of reggae, the really the history starting with, with where he came from to the present when he's still touring. And suddenly the piece itself, the, this little piece has been getting a lot more attention than the actual playing and the music, which is a nice musical moment, but getting people graciously to come on camera, like Chris Blackwell, and <coughs> say these things that they will not say too often was, was a rare opportunity. And uh, it was a privilege to work with everybody, and Monty Alexander, and all, all these great people that come out of, out of Jamaica, the music that comes from jazz, emerges into reggae, that changed the world, that changes everything that we know and, and touch. And Ernie was so much a part of it. Wait, I really liked your commentary. I liked your comments very much. Yeah. Yeah, because I've been really lucky to you know, make films on maybe the two greatest musicians ever out of Jamaica, Ernie Rankin and Peter Tosh. I hope all of you guys see Peter Tosh last night, seven years ago. What, what would have inspired, I mean, one of the great Hollywood filmmakers, such as yourself, to um, choose the topic of. <laughs> Of, of a, I mean, clearly, Ernie Rankin's a genius, but, but what brought you to the project? Well, basically, what brought us to the project was respect for Ernie and a, and a love for the music and a love for what he contributed. <coughs> and I mean, it's just his talent is just so overriding that it was simple to be drawn to it and a privilege to be associated. Well, I'm sure there are lots of questions people in the audience have, but I'm going to ask you to save it for your little uh, outside moments because we have a lot on the program tonight that we want to get through. Uh, I do want to acknowledge the presence of uh, my minister, Olivia Nancy Gage. Come on, let me see you, Miss Bee. I know this is a movie you love. Well, I, I, I won't say much. I'm here to watch the movies. I just, know, I just want to say to everyone, enjoy and appreciate. This is a great moment where we're really able to sit and relax and understand what we really have, the gift that we have as Jamaicans. A music that transcends all barriers, color, race, and creed. And something that unites and binds. And so everybody here tonight we are one family. And I want to thank all the people in the industry.